All right, world, welcome back to my channel. We're gonna get a little bit more in depth on what I do with my personal workouts, and we're gonna dive into a little bit of something I call high intensity interval bodybuilding. You're about to see a really cool workout. You're about to see me get after it. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you some of the secrets that I think make me really successful in the way that I build my body. So some of you guys know of some of the programs that I have out there. There's one in particular that's pretty popular. It's called the High Intensity Interval Bodybuilding Program. So basically what I tend to do with that is I mix together functional movements in a high volume format that works on specific body parts, whether it's a shoulder day or a chest day or a leg day. But what I do is I take those movements and I combine them with cardio so that I'm raising my heart rate and I'm burning fat and building muscle at the same time. Something that most people like to think is impossible, but I'm a living, breathing creature right now and I'm proving to you that it is possible on certain levels and with certain parameters. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna do a little push-pull combo. I got a 70-pound dumbbell. I'm gonna be doing single arm, shoulder to overhead. It's gonna look like this. I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna use my body, dip, and drive the dumbbell up. I'm gonna do that on both arms. I'm gonna do 10 reps on each arm. The difference between a regular press and a push jerk is just basically gonna be the use of my legs. So on a push jerk, I wanna dip at the knee, drive, that dumbbell's gonna come up, and I'm gonna land in the same dip that I started with. So if you think about just like a little 45 degree angle dip, you're gonna start here and you're gonna end here. Why would I do that? Because everyone's like, you should not use your legs, just use your upper body. Yes, but when you get tired and you need more reps, really the only way to do that is to start cheating a little bit. So if you cheat in the beginning with a heavier weight, one, it's more fun, <laughs> it's way more fun. Uh, and two, you're getting those reps in even when you're tired. So when you push reps to failure, you're making your body really, really, really strive for the hypertrophy effect. You're recruiting more muscle fibers, you're getting more blood to the cells and you're building more muscle. So more muscle is what we're looking for all the time, right? That's what everybody wants. So when you pick a movement that is very dynamic and very compound and it has a lot of movement going on, you're gonna get more reps, you're gonna get better results. So what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna do a 400 meter ski erg. It's like a quarter mile, that'll be equivalent to a quarter mile run for those of you who don't have a ski erg or a 500 meter row. I'm gonna come over and do 10 jerks on each arm and then I'm gonna do as many pull-ups as I can until the four minute mark. I'm gonna give myself a one minute rest and I'm gonna do five rounds. Now, if you guys think about that, that's a lot of work. I'm gonna be doing 50 shoulder to overhead on each arm with a 70 pound dumbbell. I'm gonna get a whole bunch of pull-ups in. I'm gonna get a whole bunch of cardio in. And when you see this, I'm gonna be pumped. <laughs> So the reason this stuff all works is because you're cranking your heart rate up, but you're still getting your resistance training in. So doing some damage to the muscle, and you're also cranking your heart rate. So you're getting that fat burning and muscle building effect at the same time. It really cuts down your workout time. I own a business, a few businesses. <laughs> um, I try to have a fun life, you know, do cool shit. So uh, I like my workout to be done quick. Like I love working out so much, but I don't want it to be my all day, every day thing. So I invented this to get shit done fast, make you look good naked, get you out in the world, having a little bit more fun, hopefully with or without clothes on. Alright guys, 
so that's part one of a three-part workout. So I have my cardio for today. I picked a push and a pull. That's done. I did shoulder overhead and pull-ups. So now I pick another cardio and one more thing that's shoulder oriented. Hit the same kind of scheme with the cardio and the lifting. Something for core, or I'll do some more accessory stuff for my shoulders. Maybe like some lateral raises or front raises. Maybe some shrugs. There's traps in there. Um, or yeah, just anything that complements the first part of the workout, which was today's focus is shoulders. That's my high intensity bodybuilding kind of principles. That was 20 minutes. And I am fucking smoked. Like, there's no other workout like that that you're gonna get in 20 minutes. That's why I do it. Yeah, it's hard. But results are hard. It's hard to eat good. It's hard to push yourself to the limit. If it's not hard, it's not working. <laughs> That's what she said. So let's see some tutorials. Okay. All right, guys. First part of my workout got done this morning. Unfortunately, I am a gym owner and a business owner, so some things had to be done. And I had to eat some food, so people do get hungry, especially when you work out a lot. Had to go home, get it in. Just in case you're interested, I did have a giant chicken salad that had way too many things in it. And then I, I just kept eating, and just more eating. But anyway, I'm back at the gym. My goal is to work out with the class right now and get in the class workout. So the class workout is seven rounds of seven calorie bike, seven toes to bar, and seven deadlifts at 225. Best time all day is from Coach Henry. I think he did an 8.30. See you on the other side. class is like my favorite part of the day and it's just the most motivating workouts that I can get in like I spent a lot of time like working in my brain like what I want to do for the workout so when I just do class the thought process is done for me everybody in the class is pushing me to go a little harder even when I'm not feeling that great so I really love the class setting so for those of you out there who don't have a group of people to work out with that's my favorite part about CrossFit I really really suggest you guys join some sort of gym that has some group fitness makes all the difference. That was the end of the class workout. I just switched out deadlifts for jerks. So we did seven rounds, seven calorie assault bike, seven toes bar, and seven jerks. I used 185, seven rounds, seven calories, seven toes bar, seven jerks, seven rounds. It feels good to move. It keeps you moving no matter where you're at. All right, guys, that's a wrap for today. You guys got to see my morning workout. You guys got to see my afternoon workout. I love working out with the gym. All my members make my whole life just so much more fulfilling. This is my office, by the way. I uh, live quite a bit of my life in here. But um, as you can see, it's hectic sometimes. I, I have a lot on my plate. I have my podcast. I have this YouTube channel. I have my Instagram. I have the gym Instagram. Oh, there's stories on there and IGTVs and making the workouts and I have all these little projects that I really want to get done on my own where I just need to sit down and get some work done. <laughs> but as you can see, it's really hard to do at times. Um, I recently just went on a snowboard trip, which was awesome. I went to Jackson Hole, Wyoming, but every like 10 minutes I have to check my phone and answer messages and stuff like that. So a lot of you guys out there you want that fitness entrepreneur life, and it is cool. Like it's, I can go anywhere I want, whenever I want. I can work from anywhere if I really wanted to. I love being in the gym, that's part of everything. It's like the nucleus of everything. So I don't like being gone for too long from the gym, but 
having the flexibility to work when you want, whenever you want, is all and all that is good. But if you're a perfectionist and you really want to be good at what you do, it, it does get a little bit overwhelming at times. But uh, I'm so happy that you guys follow me and take some time to look into my life and check out what I'm doing. And hopefully it's inspiring and hopefully it motivates a lot of you guys to do whatever it is that you really want to do. Because uh, if you guys know my story, I came from not very much and made some really, really cool shit. And it really just comes down to knowing exactly what you want, having faith in achieving that goal and believing that you're you can do that better than anybody else out there and it, it will happen if uh if you don't make it happen for yourself someone's gonna recognize it there's someone watching at all times and they're gonna help you out and great things are gonna happen i promise it's it's amazing how the, how the world works and uh thank you guys again for tuning into this channel and watching another vlog living the day in the life of ryan fisher myself in the third person and uh, I hope I got. It. I hope I get to see you guys again soon. Let me know what you think of this video. If there's anything that I haven't gone over yet, you haven't seen yet that you want to see. I know you guys want to see food. That's coming. If there's anything else, go ahead and comment below. Send me a DM at Ryan Fish R Y A N F I S C H on Instagram, and I will get back to you guys. Love you guys. Over and out.